What's up, guys? This is a statue from a bygone era. This was put out by DC Direct in the early 2000s, I believe. Wonder Woman versus Hydra. As you can see, she's the centerpiece of my music enjoyment section. Right in between my Wharf Dill Denton 85th anniversaries. Wonder Woman versus Hydra. Prime One actually just released a Wonder Woman versus Hydra of their own. But you have to pay a king's ransom for that one. I believe I got this for under 200 back in the day. Prime One's version is going for 1500 But the Prime One statue is a... Uh, that's a whole different thing. It's a uh, hyper-detailed, one-third scale. If you're willing to fork over 1500 by all means. I personally like this guy. It's not hyper-realistic, but very fun to look at. I don't really have this statue as a centerpiece because of Wonder Woman. It's more so because of Hydra, the three heads. It's emblematic of Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, beginning, middle, end. You know, life comes in threes. Intro, body, conclusion. Breakfast, lunch, supper. This statue by DC Direct was released in a limited run of 2000, I've got number 365. Just a simple one-sided certificate of authenticity, COA. Just gonna give you guys a quick 360. So I actually have her on a Lazy Susan Walnut, just put some wood screws and the bearing underneath with some brass spacers or bushings on the inner bearing just so she could spin freely. Fairly silent turntable. I really dig the uh, the musculature that's sculpted into her back. The Prime One piece, although it's hyper-realistic, looks kind of generic to me. I do prefer this comic-inspired look. And another thing, these modern statues, doesn't really matter what scale they're in, but these manufacturers tend to use decals for the eyes. Uh, in, in my opinion, decals do look better than painted eyes, by and large. But back in the day, pretty much every statue had painted eyes. And DC Direct did a great job with this one. I mean, just look at that. Immaculate.
This is the full scale diorama. DC Direct also put out a mini one. I often use this as a paperweight. <laughs> and then when DC Direct became DC Collectibles, they released a patina version of the mini one. They do like milking their Wonder Woman statues. I think there are several other Wonder Woman pieces that come in different finishes. There are other Wonder Woman statues that come in regular and marble. They tend to do that a lot for Diana. There are copper versions, marble versions, patinaed versions. Very stately, powerful, dynamic pose. There you have it. DC Direct's Wonder Woman vs. Hydra.